Well, thank you for joining me here today. We are here to stand against the very reckless actions of a few, which would jeopardize the well-being of not just Seattle, but hundreds of cities and towns all over our state. The effects of this ballot measure, if it were to be passed, would be catastrophic for the city of Seattle. We are just recently recognized by national expert that said of all the cities in America, we are making some of the best choices regarding transit. Seattle believes in its values. That's why we voted for more transit. What, we're, what is on this ballot, Tim Iman is trying to take away the very things that voters voted for, that voters said were important to them, more transit in more areas. I want to thank everyone on the City Council who passed this resolution. It is critical for us to stand up as a city. I have talked to leaders in towns all across the state who join with us in saying this is the wrong direction for Seattle to go, for Washington State to go. I-976 is not just misguided, it is wrong. And it's the wrong way to go for our city and our state. If it passes, as I said, it will have catastrophic effects on the city of Seattle. You know, we double down on our investments on transit and on fighting climate change. And this it would take us in the wrong direction. When we had the viaduct coming down, we made every effort we could to get more people on transit, to get them walking and biking. Again, this takes us in the wrong direction. This tries to nullify the vote by voters to say what we need for our city and what voters and other towns and cities need for their cities. It would be $20 billion of sound transit money at risk. At a time when we know people are having to live further and further out, this is about economic justice and transportation. It's about people being able to get to their homes, to work, to visit people they know and love. Light rails is one of the fastest ways we can get people, one of the most efficient ways. It's about equity. This will jeopardize our ability to expand light rail and to do the needed services we need. We know that it's not just about transportation, but that's huge. We also know that this will cut money for safety, not just here in Seattle, but in across the state. We know it'll make it harder for everyone to move goods and services, to travel to their jobs, to make a living. Seattle will stand up for what's right. I proudly join and will sign this resolution passed by the City Council because it says to everyone in the city of Seattle, we voted once, we will stand up again to make sure that we do not pass this initiative and stand against it. I really want to thank everybody for their advocacy to make sure that we know the truth on this. And I want to say again, Tim Iman, we are done with your tricks. We don't need them. We need to move forward. And by, by voting against this, we're moving forward. So I am proudly signing this legislation. Thank you. All the elected leaders stand united in opposing this and saying that we stand for more and better transit, transit transportation, for more equity, for doing more to combat climate change. Seattle will stand for its values. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. You just filled up the room. Oh, yeah. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. How's it going?